Halo semuanya, gimana kabarnya? Balik lagi nih sama saya Ordinary Hari ini kita bakal lanjutin main visual novel namanya Kill or Love <laughs> Oh, what do you guys think about that intro? Uh, I think I'll tell it Maybe I'll try to do a full Indonesian gameplay in other series So right now we are continue to uh, in our journey playing Kill or Love I really like the story so far. Uh, I want to see what's next in it. So without further ado, let's just dive into it then. Alright, uh, we are back now. So, August 7. I can't just sit here waiting. Oh, the screen's getting redder. I've got to wait, and I will. But I feel like I can't wait, either. I'm doing nothing, and it's eating me up. Oh, it, it's like uh, when you so stress, you want to take a break, but you cannot take a break because you you are so stress. <laughs> oh, it's uh my daily mood. Uh, daily mood, I mean. <laughs> If a stomach is empty long enough. It start eating itself. Do you know that? Oh, I don't like where this is going. I know that. If I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. Get a grip of yourself, Jack. You can do this. I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe they'll help me make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around a turtle. I want my mind to be clear. To do what I'm going to do and to do it properly, my mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. The notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. Oh, backstory! Oh, I cannot wait to see what uh, what gonna happen. What's gonna happen? I met, uh, I met Anna, met her again after so many years, in the store where I work. Chris wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must been following me. Oh, shit. Talking. Oh, she looks normal. <laughs> In her ordinary uniform, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> the first time she came in, I was at the cash register. Oh, you're a cashier. Like Squidward. She walked straight up to me, cutting the line. Uh, cutting in line. An old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Lucky you, Anna. Anna stood there a while, staring at me. Then she said, No. No, I can't do this. I, I can't start here. I can't do it. Why? What did What did she say? It, it must be not like a simple hi, uh, doesn't it? There's already too much of that woman in my life. I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Chris. Yes, Chris. 
Oh, she's kinda cute, blonde ponytail, but she looks ordinary, I should say. <laughs> Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I work at. A workers, she was and is, still is, a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. What? I hated her. I hated most people. Negative person, I see. And most things. I was a real asshole. I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a coworker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was, how I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. What makes you uh, becoming such a loner, huh, Jack? Will we find out later? She tried to talk to me a few times, but then I start uh, avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The time she still ended up working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. Then came the day when we talk, really talk, for the first time. Oh, nice way to blend the background with the character sprite. I was restocking the shelf alongside an old, busy, long-haired man when Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. Excuse me? Instead, I become very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelf. I waited for her to leave. Um, Don, you can switch with me, alright? You can go help Susie. I already did the bottom shelf there. Don, the old man, thank her and left. Oh, she took the opportunity and Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. Oh, maybe he was scarred by uh, by Anna in the past that makes him so negative. I don't know. I had to say something. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm fine on my own. If you want to make uh, to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Oh no, I don't mind doing this. Oh, look look at that pure smile. That's actually really cute. Pure innocent girl. What if Grace is the main antagonist at the end? <laughs> That's kind of cliche in a uh, horror story. Oh, Sokka. Can she take a hint? I love them. It's, um, it's his back, you know? Uh, what? Oh, Nani? <laughs> Nani Kore? Oh! S so she didn't take took oppor uh, take opportunity to get closer with me but instead is uh, concerned with Don's back. Don's back hurts a lot. 
So I, I asked him to switch. Damn. Okay, I'm sorry. She's actually really kind and sweet. Oh, I see. He has trouble with the lower shelves. So... I get it. I didn't need to it to bother you, I swear. Oh, that's really sweet actually. <laughs> uh, now I feel bad. Or this is probably just her excuse. I said I get it. Okay. We went on restocking in silence. For about another minute. Um, I know you don't like me very much. So I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. I'm so sorry, Grace. Seriously, I'm so sorry. <laughs> because that's what uh, that was my idea before. So, I'm sorry. I sigh. Who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah? Don't take that personally. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot hold myself. That's just how I am. Being a lone wolf. Well, I don't think he's type of guy who thinks a loner is a cool type of guy, so he purposely become a loner. Avoiding people. I don't care about other people. Fucking dumbass. Oh sh! Why would you think like that? Damn. I mean, if this is the how he thinks about Chris for the first time, Chris must be must be such a wonderful person to change Jack into a person who he is right now. That's actually really fantastic. If I could go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would. Jack when he uh when he invented time machine. No, don't say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. You must be not that meme. So you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. Get a clue. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, what a sweet lady. We didn't talk for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She left me alone, I thought. Now that she knows, I prefer it that way. But she didn't. I've always thanked my lucky stars. That she didn't leave me alone after that. Maybe she should have though. For her own sake. Damn. I hope she can forgive me. Oh. I mean. I like. Uh, I like Grace. She's sweet. She's cute. And she is kind. Writing about the past has been a good idea. Right now, it doesn't even bother me where I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remembering the way she smiled is giving me courage. She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy, safe. The weather was nice out today. The sky was blue. The bird, birds are chirping. 
dropping. I'm sorry. <laughs> There is a tiny window on the wall to my left. I can look through. If I'm sorry, I can look through it if I twist my head around. The small patch of the sky is the only beautiful thing around here. That and my my memories of her. Damn. Jack must be re really love Grace now, huh? Hi, Jack. Oh, hi, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hi. A beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it our all today. Damn. It's really positive. Yep. Let's do that. Um, your un uniform is kind of kind of all wrinkly, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. I haven't got an iron, so jeez, you're really hopeless, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far. I could iron your clothes for you. If you said pretty please. <laughs> uh. August 8. After that one time, they started coming up to me more and more and talking to me more and more. It was a gradual thing. Just hello and goodbye. And how are you doing at first? Eventually, they grew to full conversations. What's your favorite Legend of Runeterra region? <laughs> well, I say full conversations. They were still pretty bare bones. I noticed how friendly she was being, of course. But I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. Hey Jack! There's a bar that just down the road. I heard it's a good place to go. So, how about we go there after work today? Oh! A dead? To relax? And when she asks me out for drinks, I suppress myself further by saying, Here. Oh, I like the background, it's so uh, moody. I don't know the expression. How do you like it here? Is it nice? It's a like, I guess. I don't really know, honestly. I don't go to a place like this. Oh, well, I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it would be fun, you know? Together. Grace ordered a jack and coke. I didn't know what to get, so I asked for one too. A vodka. Under on a rock. With some uh, it's medicine syrup. syrup. <laughs> it it tastes the same. But I still like vodka. Our drinks came quickly. They were cool and pleasantly sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. Why? The waitress had giggled when taking my order, and I took it as an in insult, or it was something else just as dumb. I can't remember exactly. Ah. Uh, 
feels feels good to relax after a long day at work, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yes, it is, Chris. I grumble. What is it, Jack? What is it, Argodian? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, nothing. I sip my drink. Um, something's bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to drink if you don't want to. I don't mean that. I mean all this. I gesture everything around us. Doing things with people. Damn, what did Anna do to you, man? Well, I just assume that it it uh he becomes loner because of Anna. <laughs> But I have a juice, you know, like a clue that there is something, uh, something that Anna, Anna did to Jack to become this, uh, this kind of person. I don't know. I, I should just continue reading. <laughs> huh? Why? You wouldn't get it even if I explain. We are just too different. I've had it rough in life. Uh, really? I'm s I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you, you can enjoy yourself now. Yeah, you, you gotta move on, Jack. Well, I guess he moved on until he met with Anna again. I... Well... It will be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. Damn! I like Chris way of thinking. Just having fun in life, man. Life is short. No. What I'm saying is, it's just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We've barely been here for 10 minutes. I just know. Damn. And Grace prove, prove him wrong, huh? Oh, cute. Oh, thing. Oh, man. Damn. You know what? I think I'm already falling in love with Grace. For the first 10 minutes. <laughs> she didn't seem happy I said that. So, you want to leave? Oh. I hadn't actually thought of leaving. I just complained to complain. Well, you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, yeah? Yes! If you keep going like this, you're never gonna have a fun in life. Damn! I'm sorry if I kinda overreacting, but... I don't know, I just like the way of Grace thinking. So promise me, you'll at least give being with me a chance. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. A whole hour? Please? How about you say pretty please to me? <laughs> Triple dot? Fine. I can do an hour. Thank you. Oh. You won't regret it. I guess 
he didn't regret it, huh? Yeah, sure. It seems like a, such a long time. Oh, the music's gone. There was a clock on the wall opposite me. I was going to stare at it for the whole hour, counting down the minutes. Then, when the hour passes, I will get up and leave. Simple as that. But then something happened. Chris was having trouble. I had never seen her so awkward. She was stammering, struggling to find stuff to talk about. Oh, she, so she just go all in without a plan, huh? I realized it was because I was just sitting there, barely say anything. You wanna see my Yu-Gi-Oh collection? <laughs> Oh, you should go with that. I was acting all grumpy too. That couldn't have Oh, Back in the store, with so many distractions around us, it had been easy for her to chat with me every so often. A few words here and there. I hadn't had to do much back then besides not. Sitting down, talking face to face. It simply couldn't work like that. After more than few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Chris gave up. Ooh. She sat there, looking at her drink instead of at me. She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. Just a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't stand that. So I start talking. Oh, you took initiative, huh? I said the first thing that came out came to mind, no matter how stupid. About my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I did it. It feels so unlike me. Both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. Or I like the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace. Or maybe it was the alcohol. I don't know. Maybe it was both. Damn. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. Back then, there was a part of me that never relaxed. No matter what. No matter it wasn't even a part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist that wouldn't unclench. But now, I found I could relax it. Little by little by little. Oh. I don't know, I like their chemistry. You know, like one grumpy loner with uh, slightly energetic woman. That's cute couple. And before I knew it, I really was having fun in this girl presence, talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. What did we talk about? I don't remember. What I do remember is that I had more fun than I had in years. When the hour passes, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for hours longer. Oh, that's so cute. I do remember one thing we talked about actually. About my Caius the Shadow Monarch. I'm sorry. 
we somehow got on a topic of family. What is your family like, Jack? Ah, I... I can't say. Oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. I kind of... Not on speaking terms with my family either. Why is that? That's... Um... They both passed away. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh! So maybe Grace feel lonely... Uh, feel lonely and talk to Jack for the first time? Actually, I don't really talk with other people all that much. Or hang out with them. Well, outside of work... I'm kind of alone a lot of the ta of the time. What? Really? Uh, yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. They surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. But you're so friendly with the people at the store. That's all it is. It's not that I wouldn't like to spend more time with them, but... I don't know. It feels like if I let them in, they're go they are going to turn out. Not nice. But you're different. You're just trying to get by. I don't think you... You're someone. What's that supposed to mean, Grace? God, when I say it like that, doesn't sound like at all. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Do you, do you, did you also get betrayed when you was uh, younger? You must think I'm really weird. I'm sorry. No, I don't think you are. It makes sense what you said. Oh, s really? Uh, thank you, Jack. I really, really hope you understand. And I'm so happy that you do. I really feel like you are... Someone I can trust. We went for drinks again next week, and then once more the week after. The week after that, we had dinner together at Chris Greasy Little Restaurant where we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. <laughs> I never had wine. It was disgusting, but I had guessed it would be disgusting. So I forced my way through a glass anyway. Try vodka, bro. I even said it was delicious. Then Grace tried some, told me it was spoiled. What? She teased me the hell of me for that. Oh, cute. I wasn't bitter about it. I laughed along. Strange, strange how quickly people can change sometimes. Yeah, some uh, a person said that a man can change just for by three days, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Soon, we started going out more often to bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. 
We took a lot of walk together too. I don't like when the music fade away. And one time, we even went to to the movies. Watching Killer Bean Part Two. After about a month of this, I asked Grace if she'll be my girlfriend. What? Am I not your girlfriend already? Oh, cute. Oh. And that's how it went. Ah, oh, that's cute. August 9th, Nint. A few weeks later, she told me we had happened. Oh, I'm sorry. She told me what had happened to her back when she still lived with her family. I know for a while that something had happened, something she hadn't shared with anyone before. But when she told me what it was, a few of things she said. A few of the things she said. I mean. No, I shouldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to tell. What if someone found this journal? Ah, oh, damn! You give me blue balls, man. I mean, it makes sense, but damn, man! What a way to hide a plot twist! I believe. I had never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found out, I felt cross. That's... I know. God, I feel like an idiot. And after I told you I have it rough. Must be a hell of a plot twist, huh? Oh my god, I'm so curious right now. Uh, no, it's fine. Don't feel bad about it, please. You've got your troubles, and I've got mine. I know, but... Can we do something? There's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward. Oh, you know, I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I protect her, keep her safe forever, and I mean it. And I felt her, but that comes later. For now. I figured it. Uh, I figured I should tell her what my own troubles had been. Um, so you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I show you this. I do want to. I managed to keep quiet about my past. I had only alluded to things. Now, I told her everything. It wasn't a long story. What? Nothing. You don't remember anything. Oh, it's the memory that. Anna wants Jack to remember, doesn't it, huh? Okay, it's not exactly nothing, but my teen years are fuzzy, and everything before that, it's like it doesn't exist. So your brain purposely removed that from your memory, from trauma. I assume. What about your family? I don't know. Maybe I had one. I was in a lot of institutions before I turned 18. Oh, 
deck. I'll tell you about the style if you want, but there's not a lot to tell. Ah, oh, damn, another blue balls? Really? <laughs> Don't test me like that, game. I want to know so badly. Nothing really ever happened to me. I wish I could tell you everything about my life. I really do. But I can't. Uh, that's fine. Then... Uh, and so why with... What's with that expression, huh? Did you ever try to find out? About my life before then? Yeah. Oof. Oh, that, that must be a really huge trauma. I didn't. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I just never feel like it, I guess. I must have known, even back then. That some memories are best left buried. buried. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure I would like to remember if I couldn't. But you're fine with it? Yeah. Well, okay. Tell me about the times you can you can remember then. So I went on to tell her all about the few blend memories I had. Chapter 3 No More Stalling Oh, it's kinda short and I feel blue balls right now so uh, at first I was, uh, my plan was to uh to end the series per episode so i just upload per per chapter i mean but i think it's kind of too short so i can i can continue 